Hello there, it is full year results time for Volition. I am joined by their Chief Executive Officer, Cameron Reynolds, Group Chief Executive Officer. We're going to be also hearing from other members of the Volition team, but first of all, Cameron, well, it was quite a 2022, wasn't it? Yes, Nick, it was actually quite transformational for the company. We've really transferred from a company with very exciting intellectual property and great technology. We're powered by New Q and everything we do. But to manage to commercialise this year, we have now have six different agreements on the new Q vet side, including two of the biggest companies in the world. It has been absolutely fantastic to see us really change and deliver on the promise of our fantastic platform. So those are the headlines. Let's drill down a little bit into that performance. What would you say are the, the key highlights that you want people to understand? Yeah, I think apart from the transferring into commercialization, while we very much keep the, a really good focus on the research as well, we want to stay on the cutting edge of epigenetics. It's a, a really exciting field. The signing of IDEX and Heskers, obviously tremendously exciting, and you'll hear more of that from Tom, but it's really shown us shifting gears, keeping very strong research and development, but also commercializing on our platform. And we also made very strong progress on our human side, most notably in the NETS platform. <coughs> we're applying through breakthrough designation status and we're hopeful of the first product launches coming soon on the human side and the human cancer side. Thanks, Cameron. This is very much 2022 results day, but you must want to bring us up to date on some of the more recent news in Volition as well. I'll focus on just one or two things to start with. Obviously, very important for us at the moment is the work we're doing with Docro on finding studies of our new Q platform. So um, we're hoping to apply soon for breakthrough designation status uh, on the sepsis side and also in the human cancers. Uh, the work's been progressing very well as well. So it, again, it shows the, the adaptability of our platform and different things working very well in different areas. And secondly, it's been absolutely amazing to be at the Western Vet Conference to see the IDEX and the HESCA booth and the excitement around our product and at our own booth, of course, to see the little HESCA machine and uh, how our platform can be used at IDEX as well through the centralised labs. So all in all, very exciting on both the human and the animal side. Which is the perfect time for me to go off now to see Dr Tom Butera, who is CEO of Volition Veterinary, to ask him to give us a bit more detail about that. So Tom, thanks very much for joining us. We're going to talk about 2023 in a moment because it's a busy period at the moment, but let's cast our minds back over 2022. What would you say your highlights were in the veterinary sector during that time? Well, for the Volition Veterinary team, it was an absolute breakthrough year for us. Just a fabulous year. In the first quarter of 2022, we signed a, an exclusive licensing and supply agreement with HESCA Corporation for the point of care test. Now, so you understand that point of care test is an in-house diagnostic unit that goes actually in the veterinary hospital. And we also signed a non-exclusive agreement with them for their reference labs in the United States, as well as their subsidiary, which is Skill in Europe, which has a significant penetration in the European theater as well. And looking to the future, we also have the exclusive agreement on the canine new Q cancer vet test with HESCA on the point of care. And we're also working on feline lymphoma, which will also be placed on the point of care. And there are some additional product menus we're, which we're adding to our platform, which will also be potentially commercially available through HESCA. As I said, we'll talk about 2023, but that agreement with HESCA came with some significant financial milestones. Yeah, let me tell you about that. It's a $28 million deal. $10 million of that is in our bank and we have another $13 million, which we anticipate receiving uh, for near-term and mid-term milestone payments, probably over the course of the next quarter, and we're really excited about that. In addition to that, for feline lymphoma, we're gonna receive another $5 million, which we anticipate probably in 2024, because we're spending a lot of time working on the feline nuclear lymphoma platform this year in 2023. Really important to remember, Nick, in addition to the milestone payments that I just laid out to you, there is a significant dollar amount, probably in excess of the milestone payments, that we're going to receive for every kit that we sell to HESCA's reference lab. We will receive dollars for that. And to every uh, test that we sell on the point of care test for key components, we will receive dollars to that. So in summary, every time HESCA sells a test, whether it's on reference lab 
or point of care, Volition Veterinary will make money. And Tom, the work on the deals didn't actually just stop there, did it? They didn't. We also were fortunate enough to sign a fabulous licensing and supply agreement with the IDEX Corporation, which is a pet worldwide innovator and uh, has tremendous penetration both in the United States as well as in Europe and beyond. This agreement with IDEX was signed in October and we just announced it formally at the VMX Worldwide Conference held in Orlando, which is the largest veterinary conference in the world. Fabulous turnout, fabulous interest in the test, and uh, IDEX both spoke about our test there, as well as our own people and our own Volition Veterinary team was there handling hundreds and hundreds of doctors coming to our booth to inquire about the test, so we're uber excited about it. And Tom, just talk to me about the size of the market we're uh, looking at here. Let's talk about it just domestically first. In the United States alone, there are 84 million dogs. Of those 84 million dogs, close to 76% of them bring, pet owners bring their dog to see a veterinarian once a year. Almost half of those dogs are brought in for wellness visits. What's interesting enough, our agreement and our arrangement with IDAX is to offer our test as part of their preventive care program. Fits in beautifully. So the opportunity, 84 million, half of them wellness tests, you're looking at potentially 40 to 45 million dogs, which are at high risk breeds at the age of seven years of age, and also dogs at, at also high risk breeds starting at four years of age. When you look at that in terms of an opportunity, it's massive. Product development, always important to keep uh, forging ahead on that, and you've, uh, you've also been busy on the product development front. Yeah, the most recent product development, which we're very, very excited about, is Dr. Heather wilson Robles, who is our Chief Medical Officer of Volition Veterinary, has been working with our team on the development of the monitoring paper, which we just recently submitted for peer review. To give you a little bit about monitoring paper, that paper is really studying disease progression, with reference to lymphoma in particular, and follows disease progression of lymphoma during the course of the disease treatment, and also the, the disease treatment going into remission. The interesting part about that is when we can get an animal into remission, then it goes back to the general practitioner or to the veterinarian who's been treating the animal, and testing it for remission on a regular basis, sometimes monthly or bi-monthly after treatment, to see potentially when that animal may come back out of remission and get back potentially in treatment again is a tremendous accomplishment. So we're looking for that peer review paper to come public, ho hopefully over the next few months, and uh, it's a tremendous uptick for oncologists and veterinarians alike who are treating lymphoma in particular, but there will be other cancers that will also um, go under our monitoring uh, platform, and we're very, very excited about it. So obviously a lot of uh, excitement and noise about the IDEX and the HESCA agreements, but what's on the horizon for new QVET, would you say? Three parts to the answer to your question. The first part is, at Western Veterinary Conference, HESCA is actually doing a pre-launch and taking pre-orders on the new QVET cancer screening and monitoring test, using it at point of care. The second part is, as we always are, we're continuing to uh, explore and interact with a number of global leaders uh, because we obviously want worldwide distribution of our new Q platform and we're continuing to look at additional deals in 2023 with other potential partners. And then the final point is, is on the R&D front, we're continuing to work on in particular the feline product. And the other very important piece that we're also looking at is with reference to Natosis. Uh, the Natosis is a platform that our human side of Volition is working diligently on and we now also are working on Natosis to see if we can bring that in. It'll be a very important piece for critical care people, critical care doctors, emergency doctors, and quite frankly, could be quite a differentiator for general practitioners as well in terms of finding out what non-cancer diseases are and where they are with reference to that case that comes into their hospital. Thanks very much, Tom. Always great to talk to you, particularly at a time of such great excitement over 2023 and after a good 2022. Time now to go over to talk about the all-important numbers to the Group Chief Financial Officer, Terry Hughes. So welcome, Terry. Great to see you again. We've just heard from Tom and Cameron there. It's been quite some year, 2022, on the activity of the company. What about the numbers? Thanks, Nick. Yeah, it's been a great year. Um, we finished the year with $10.9 million of cash and cash equivalents. 
and we had a little over $300,000 of revenue, which is a 240% increase over the prior year, most of which came from our new QVET cancer test. During the year, we strengthened our balance sheet through an underwritten public offering of our common stock in August, as well as through our at-the-market equity distribution program. Furthermore, in August 2022, we were delighted to announce the award of approximately $1.5 million in non-dilutive funding from the More Invest Capital Risk in Belgium to fund an early access program for Volition's new Q product portfolio. Additionally, we recorded grant income of $1.2 million in 2022 from the Walloon region in Belgium. So Terry, a lot of incoming money there, but what about expenditure, outgoings? So Nick, we continued to manage our expenditures and cash flow very carefully. Our expenditure did go up during the year, but that was more than offset by the $10 million of milestone payments that we received from HESCA in March. As a result, net cash flow from operations was $15.3 million for the full year, and that averaged about $1.3 million a month. For the most recent quarter, ending December 31st, our net cash from operations averaged about $1.7 million. And what about costs in 2023, Terry? Are you expecting them to go up? Yes, Nick, we expect costs to continue to rise a little bit in 2023, driven by our clinical trial activities. However, we also expect that impact to be mitigated by the $13 million in milestone payments that we expect to receive from HESCA Corporation. And as we were just hearing from Tom, it's been very busy on launches and it's also been busy on the financing side as well. That's right. Subsequent to year end, we raised a further $8 million from an underwritten public offering and also another $0.7 million from our At The Market equity distribution programme. So finally, Terry, really good progress on the balance sheet, but what's the prospect looking forward? So we're expecting another $13 million in milestone payments from the Hesca Corporation. And I'm delighted to say that we're now in revenue recording mode with a new QVET cancer test now available through the reference lab networks of IDEX and HESCA. HESCA are also bringing something to the party as well. That's right. So HESCA have also started pre-selling the new QVET cancer test at the point of care. And we expect that to generate great revenue streams in the future at very good margins. Well, thank you very much. It's been great to talk to you and other members of the Volition team about the 2022 results and, of course, looking ahead to what looks like being a very interesting and busy 2023. And we'll be back to talk about the quarterly financial results in May this year. Bye for now.